and we had very, very good turnout. But I remember so fondly your boys on those days and the help that they would render folks. It was a great opportunity for them to, you know, kind of volunteer as they did so many times with well, us. Well, Marcus, so you. you know, Marcus is dropping hints that he might need a ride home. Okay. He's kind of thinking like, I don't know, so... Get him the big dog, the greyhound. You, okay. know, <laughs> you know, everybody's coming Everybody's coming home for Thanksgiving. He should be able to find a ride. Uh, I told if, him I'll get him back. If he does, I'd love to see him at our dinner. Oh, if that, that's that'd possible. be cool. That'd yeah, be great. I'm sure he'd love to the, come. The alumni always comes back. And yeah. it's, it's just a, a great treat for everybody to see them. Folks, we got to move ahead, but thank you for tuning in this morning. We appreciate that, and I know there's been a series of good programs this morning unfortunately i've been just too busy to listen we got a little basketball clinic at the school and we're painting a mural and <laughs> just nice. a host of stuff nice. going on candace i didn't spend one minute on the radio this morning and i always like to listen to you and your effort but how did it go can you give me a synopsis please? <laughs> yeah, I appreciate just hey paul no, heck, I definitely appreciate, you know, your desire to listen. Just a quick recap. We had uh, consumers on, and they were just talking about the new smart meters they're rolling out and what that means for the community. We had that lovely, lovely guy sitting at the table with you as well, and um, he'll give you a recap what? of what he talked about this morning. This uh, guy? Yes. You were on another program? I was. Cut him we were, out of this one. We were, we were warming it up for you. <laughs> yeah, we okay. it up for oh, you. you're quick. You're quick. Yeah, okay. Well, anyway, let's get moving. We got stuff. Folks, this is the International Academy of Flint program. We are so glad you turned in. We always have a few partners with us, and, of course, we are always, always welcome to enroll children. We might give a few minutes to talk about that in a moment or two. We got a big dinner coming up at the school. We had a huge health fair last Saturday with uh, Genesee uh, Health Plan. They're great partners. A lot of folks got health care, number one. Number two, some food at the health fair uh, as far as the food distribution. And tons and tons of information from the about 20 vendors that were there. Great program. We thank uh, Genesee for doing that. We appreciate their cooperation with us as a school to meet the needs of some families all throughout the city. And seated on my immediate left, that's the opposite of my immediate right. Kevin, how are you? I didn't oh. know you were here earlier. I was. But anyway, I talk was. about, to this audience, because this is some really refined people here listening it today. It is, it is. Talk to us, Kevin. Talk to us, please, about this event coming up. I got this information yesterday from you. You did. And I wish we'd have had it a tad earlier, mm -hmm. but I did Very give busy. it to our student life coordinator, and she says, we're going to have some people there. So awesome. I know at the auditions, the yeah. auditions, mm -hmm. folks, listen to what's coming from Kevin. Uh, some of our kids will be there, plus probably dozens Dozens and dozens of kids throughout the city. Kevin, take it. Well, hey, Art, I want to say thank you again. The great Art, Dr. Art Winslab, whom I know for yeah. years and years. You've done a wealth of great things for the city of Flint. Really appreciate that. And 1420, thank you. And all your, the listeners, fantastic group of folks. But we're doing the Black Arts Festival. Now, this is something that has not been done in the Flint area since probably the mid-80s. Okay? And we're bringing it back. It's okay. called the Black Arts Festival. It'll be... April 2nd, 2016, but here's the special part right now, uh, beginning Friday, November the 20th, uh, and uh, November the uh, 21st, okay, this, this coming up weekend. Yeah, that's the, the issue here. It's going, yeah. to be, it's going to be the auditions, okay? So Friday, it's from 6 to 9, and Saturday from 2 to 5 at the Riverfront Banquet Center, downtown Flint. Okay, that's the old Hyde Regency yeah, Hotel. Yeah, great facility. That'll it, be wonderful. It is, it is. And we're looking for folks to come up with their talent. Okay. The singers, the dancers, the musicians, the models, the poets, the comedians, whatever your talent is, bring it. Now, also, here's the kicker. Are you ready for this? Are you sitting Hang down? On, I'm and sitting you down. Are, you're sitting down. The grand prize for the winner of this contest in April will be $1,000. I'm entering. <laughs> no, you're not. <laughs> no, he's not. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's okay. going to be one kind of a show, I'll tell you, because there's some fantastic young people in Flint and matching the talent as well. Yeah. So we're looking forward to seeing them come out on, on next weekend. Paul could join. It says comedians there on mm -hmm. this, right? Mm -hmm. Paul Comedian. can get in. Yep. Okay. That's right. So reserve your audition. I'll take yeah. a pencil, yeah. a marker, or a crayon, or whatever you got, a, lip, a tube of lipstick, and write this number down. Here, I Paul. got some right here. Okay, yeah. okay. Here, here we go. <laughs> write this down. Area code 810-836-4170. Again, 810-836-4170. And call to reserve your audition today. There's folks at the office waiting for your call to schedule your person to audition next weekend. Now, give me your age groups. Do you have any? 12 sir? to 25. Okay. Mm -hmm. 12 to 25. 
Well, I barely made it. You barely made yeah, it. I did. Yeah. <laughs> you barely, you barely I just made snuck it. in by a couple days. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. Mm -hmm. Um, and this is a great event. It um, is. It is. Again, the, the Black Arts hasn't been done in years, Art. Now, suppose you get a hundred people. C can you deal with this? Well, we're gonna we're gonna uh, hand pick them. We're gonna okay. hand pick them and get what, what for the done. auditions. For the auditions, so everybody can audition. Though. Everybody is that accurate? Ev everybody can audition. Okay. Just put your best foot forward, your best best voice for it, right. and we'll take it from there. And then you'll have a team that will do the selection process. Absolutely, and, and fortunately, Kevin Scott will not be it. I will not okay. be a judge on yeah, this. Yeah, that's hard hard position. Yep, yep, How yep. many judges might there be? Can you give us a number? Maybe we're thinking four, five uh, or four judges. Four. It'll okay. be four judges. It'll be uh, American Idol style judging. Okay. No. American, American Idol. Oh, style. okay, I understand. Yeah, they'll come yeah. in with a little, little number on their chest, and uh, right. we'll uh, okay. uh, in, uh, give them. A quick and little the talk judges and naturally will have artistic to some extent. Absolutely. Um, yep. They'll be musicians or artists or something, yes. so they have the some, qualification. Some, I'm trying to lay that out. Absolutely. For you. Okay. Someone who recognizes talent and has okay. experience in the talent. In the talent field. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Well, okay. this is a big deal, partner. Yeah. Uh, is there a charge for this? No. For the audition, there's no charge for the audition. Just come. There will okay. be a, a CD player, so you don't have to bring your own boom box or whatever. Okay. Just, if you have a CD, just bring that, and we'll right. pop it in for you and do, do what you do. Well, there's two reasons, Paul, I can join. Uh, under 25 as well as uh, no charge. <laughs> he said Black Arts Festival. Well, here's the thing. Correction, correction. There's no ethnicity. Okay? All okay. ethnicities are ready to come. Oh, okay. wait a no, minute. What no makes ethnicity. it a black art festival? Well, because that's the origin of the festival. Okay? okay. But everyone is welcome to come. Okay. Everyone is welcome to come. I mean, I'm not against it. Sure, because we are welcoming people, aren't we? Of course. Great. So of course. we welcome everyone. All right. Thank you for pointing that out, Paul. Real and good. Kevin, for clarity. Very good. good. All right. Kevin, last time now, partner. Yeah. $1,000 in April. April 2nd. That's right. That's the big one. Are there seconds and third prizes? No, there's going to be one There's one big time, shebang. one time only. One big okay. shebang. Okay. And let's go over the audition time. I'll repeat it, and you tell me if I'm wrong. Friday, this yeah. coming Friday, November 20th, yep. 6 to 9, mm -hmm. at Riverfront Banquet Center. Yep. If you miss that one, very next day, 2 to 5 on Saturday the 21st, 2 to 5 mm -hmm. at the bank, at Riverfront Banquet Center. Singers, dancers, musicians, models, poets, comedians, and uh, any other talent that we didn't think of would That's be appropriate. Right. That's right. A guy called the other day and wanted to audition. He's a juggler. He say, I juggle. Oh, I've wow. been juggling since I was five years old. I say, well, bring your ball, your, your juggling utensils okay. with you. And, uh, we'll the guy with the back. chainsaws? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> and no accountants. No accountants. You can't juggle books. This is real stuff. Okay. That's right. right. That's right. All right, Kevin. We, we did what we could for you. Wait, I'm going to try to drop in now. Come Friday, on in. Come Friday in. Friday night. Yeah, yep. I know as soon as I get there, people want me on the stage. I know that. Yeah, but, uh, yeah. Anyway, uh, we'll, I'm joking, folks. <laughs> but anyway, uh, th thank you for making a quick appearance here, sir. Yeah, we, we want to make sure we get it out. I'll shake your hand. Thanks for supporting everything you. that you're doing. I don't know about the Saturday one, but the Friday night, I believe I could sit in. Oh, and then the audience can come, naturally. This is, this is for everybody to see or what? No, it's not, unfortunately. Like I said, again, oh, this American is Idol, only like when you watch the American oh, Idol, the whole no family audience. don't run in there. The, 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 the winners are who, who did good in the audition, they'll run out in the lobby and they're ha happy oh, and cheering. No, I, I, and their family's out yeah, there waiting okay. for them and congratulating them. Now some run in laughing, some run out crying. Yeah. Okay, okay, now I got the picture. All so right. The audience cannot view the the uh, the, what, the, uh, the audition. Well, the audition. Thank you, Kevin. Good to see you again. Good to see you, my friend. But wait now, and then we're getting a, we're getting a play from you. When? There's gonna be a play from me, Kevin Scott, at the Whiting in October. October. And we're gonna do a show called Papa Was a Rolling Stone. Oh, I heard of that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And my who sang that? Everybody, give me. The Temptation. Temptation, thank the temptations. you. Yeah, I remember that song. I sure do. Yeah, okay. yeah. So we're going to have a good time with that and uh, probably go out to Chip's restaurant after that and okay. get some good food. You know, he's got a new place on Richfield Road up there. Uh, heard about yep. it. Yep. Yes, yep. sir. Yep. Just heard. Real I don't good. Go nowhere. Okay. Sounds good. All right, thank you. Thank get you. Out of here. See you later. Thank partner. you, sir. And now, ladies and gentlemen, I got it. Paul's moving me over here. Kevin, seriously, thank you for thank being you. here. Swing thank more, you. right? Okay, I'm swinging on the camera. Radio folks can't see me swinging. And we have a couple of guests here. Wow. You weren't no, supposed to tell guests, people. Guests that was supposed here. to be behind the scenes. Oh, that can't. was behind the scenes stuff. I see. Oh, yeah, we can uh, scratch those remarks, audience. <laughs> Nothing's happening. I'm just uh, reading script here. There you go. I wouldn't know what to do with the script if somebody gave it to me. <laughs> okay. We, we got uh, two other special guests, and I do mean that. I've been working with this one young lady for, oh, oh yeah, you got to have a mic. We'll just do this, sir. There we go. This one young lady has it. Paul, you might want to scribble in on this thing, too. That's our Thanksgiving dinner, uh, uh, whatever it is. If you can 
picture it up. That'd be great on the camera. And uh, we have Kristen. Good morning to you. Good morning. Good to see you. I'll shake your hand on the on the air here. Very good. And Brian, always a pleasure. And of course, congratulations, folks. We got a famous new city of Flint uh, uh, employee with us here. So Kristen, because you called first. And ladies are first, Brian, as you well know. Why don't you kind of begin and talk a little bit about your purpose? Maybe you then could introduce Brian sure. through your department, and then we can have a little dialogue about all this. So take it, Kristen. Okay. Hello, everybody. Yeah. Kristen Stevenson from the city of Flint. I'm here to talk about the uh, Choice Neighborhoods Project in South Flint, the city's uh, famous grant awarded um, in January um, to do some neighborhood planning, um, as I said, in South Flint where the boundaries are at the north, I-69 on the west, Grand Traverse on the south, so southern city border of the city, and then okay. the eastern border of the city. Um, so it's really an effort to revitalize the multiple neighborhoods that exist within uh, the project boundaries. Um, and I have with me Brian Larkin, the city's newest um, director of planning and, de planning and development, um, who supports this project. So. Brian wanted to say a couple words about Choice Neighborhoods. Please, first, Brian, uh, congratulations. So good to see a local kid, now, if you don't mind me calling you that for a minute, <laughs> nah, a local no kid uh, come into the city and assume a leadership position. Fine, we appreciate that so much. Th thank you very much. Indeed, I, sir. I really appreciate the support. It's an exciting opportunity, and the best part, really the, the absolute best part, of being the director of planning and development at the city of Flint is the staff because they they really work hard and tires tirelessly on all mm -hmm. the many projects in planning and development whether we're looking at the implementation of the master plan we're looking at some of the community development opportunities and trying to leverage these federal grants to really make an impact in our community uh, the staff is working tirelessly to be innovative and creative to find ways and Kristen right here is an example of all that really rolled into one the choice neighborhoods program that we're speaking about about today's federal program from the U.S. Department of HUD, implementing pieces of the master plan that we have and directly impacting residents. The three key component areas where they're looking at housing, people, and neighborhoods, they're really doing some great stuff in that um, neighborhood, looking at the public housing in Atherton East and looking at many of the different dynamics and key stakeholders and institutions that make up that community. And so they're doing some really great work and excited to to carry our uh, mm -hmm. community to the next step. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I've attended the meetings at Brennan Center as well as at Anthony and East when they had the first one there. And uh, there's a spirit there that's developing. It's not where it will be just yet when it peaks, but we're certainly developing. I've been with the master plan and the organizations that have you know, moved on that one. And they're, the, your group here, Kristen and uh, Kevin, specifically Sharance has attended our Southside Business and Resident meeting after meeting, giving reports, giving updates. Our, our neighborhood has responded, attending our meetings, and it's just been a pretty good spirit that you can now continue to carry through with. So we're excited as a neighborhood, as a school within that neighborhood as well. And of course that would mean as well our Southside Cal Corridor will mm -hmm. receive some attention, which we are so concerned about with some of the beautification efforts we've been working on as a school and as a neighborhood. So we loved the, the opportunity to work with you. Kristen's been good, uh, um, and your whole staff has. There's no question about it. And we thank you for being on the radio program, and we will look forward to I can literally, our board, naturally, I didn't mention that yet, but our board uh, we'll certainly will work with you as well for decisions that are well beyond my ability. So we, we thank you for being here. Uh, why don't we plug this meeting coming up on the 18th? Would you, somebody do that, Kristen? Yeah, yeah you so that, that's that's our mo main reason for Good. being here is we really want folks yeah. to come out next Wednesday evening um, at the Brennan Community Center from 6 to 8 p.m. We're going to have our second um, larger community meeting. It's actually a workshop, and it's really about visioning for this project. It's This project is mm -hmm. designed to use the community and have the community be a part of developing the, the plan. So... We ask that folks come out, and we're going to be doing some work, some exercises to actually come up with ideas for um, different types of projects, whether it be mm -hmm. beautification or blight elimination mm -hmm. or whatever folks want to see in the sure. neighborhood um, and kind of work together to decide what we're well, going to do. The last meeting, very quickly, sure. um, touch on, you know, we're putting dots on the board. So tell us what you've done with that data. Yeah, oh, so the last meeting, we um, had folks kind of go around. We, we were at the Brennan Center again sure. last month, and we Great had place. folks, yeah, yeah, 
we had folks go around and basically they started out by telling us where they live, where they live within the neighborhood. They told us what things are good about the neighborhood. They told us what things are not good about the neighborhood. And then we also had folks tell us what they want, what different types of improvements they wanted to see. Mm -hmm. So we actually had suggestions written out and given to us. And those are the things that we've compiled and that we're going to present back to people and have them actually choose and rate basically and tell us what it is they want to see based on what they've told us. So what is most important for people to see? What changes are most important for people to see? Okay. Well, I'll sure be there. I haven't missed one yet. Can't. I mean, it's just too important. And Brian, I bet you might even appear. Huh? Yeah. I mean, this is this is very important. As we said, it's going to be uh, this Wednesday at 6 p.m. at the Brennan Center. Just wanted to repeat that again for, for those who are are listening uh, and didn't catch up the first time. It's going to be really, really important, and we're going to have a lot of different levels of engagement like this. This, is, this won't be the last time. As we're working with our national consultants, as we're working with our local team, as we're le working with our volunteers and community members and direct residents from the community doing work, we will definitely continue to be engaged. We want everybody who's in the community. And Kristen, could you give the boundaries again one more time of the neighborhood that we're working with with this uh, Choice Neighborhoods project? Yeah, and I think it's important to note that our goal is to really um, combine, because there's a lot of neighborhoods that exist within the boundaries, so it's really about uniting those different neighborhoods. And so it's the northern boundary is I-69, the western boundary is Grand Traverse, and then it's the southern and eastern boundaries of the city. And then I just want to, wanted to point out two other things about the event next week. There will be food and beverages, and there also will be a shuttle for residents who live at either Atherton East or Howard that Estates. So there will be a shuttle leaving Atherton East at 5.30 p.m., and then we'll go to Howard Estates and then finally to the Brennan Center, which will also return to those locations after the sure. event to drop folks off. Okay, that's great. Uh, so good. This is, uh, I think the fire is going to start to, to build in that neighborhood, a combined big, huge neighborhood. So we thank you. This was great. Uh, howdy, how you doing? Thanks for dropping in. <laughs> we have a guest here that I don't know about. But anyway, uh, good to see you here both. You get this uh, this uh, is available to you anytime you need it. We might want to have you pop in before the next meeting as well to promote it. And you're always absolutely. welcome to be here. Or if there's any announcements you have in between. You're Thanks for having welcome. us. Oh, absolutely. How could we not? Brian, again, congratulations. Thank you welcome very much. Tell Mom hi for me. Sure will. We'd appreciate that. And... Uh, How's brother doing, by the way? He's, I've lost track of him after he graduated. He's here. doing excellent. It's freshman year at Grand Valley State University. And when he first got there, we were talking probably every day, a couple of times a day. <laughs> then it went to about a couple of times a week. Then it went to once a night. He's like, hey, I'm good. Well, I'll see you when I'm home for the holidays. Okay. So if I come. He's, yeah. he's off and running. He's having that wonderful well, time. If he great. comes, uh, we got a Thanksgiving dinner that I'm probably going to talk about in a heartbeat here. So. He'd love to have him come on over. He's probably, at, I don't remember if he was there or not at the others, but we'd love to have him uh, as an alumnus come back and say hi to staff and stuff. That'd be great. Definitely Thank you, will. my friends. We Thank appreciate you. Thank you, you so Thanks for much. having us. Oh, absolutely. Literally, anytime you need. Okay. All right. Thank, Thank you so much. much. Very good. Hi, sir. Are you here to be on our program or something else? Not he's, he's got the next program. Oh, you're on the next one. Okay. How you been? I haven't seen you in a long time. I've been well. Okay, right. fine, thank you. <laughs> Good thing. Get over here and shake my hand. All right. <laughs> you, you might as well invite him on now. Right. How you been? So he can talk about his land. new program. I don't want the people in Radio Land to see us shaking hands. Oh, okay. <laughs> I understand. Okay. Well, hey, uh, this is a school program. Let's talk about school. <laughs> okay, Paul, how are you today? I'm doing good. Are we doing good? How's my profile? Oh, uh, same. Yeah, ugly. Okay. That's uh, ugly. U-G-L-I-Y-I-E. Did, did, you, mo okay. did you model for Mount Rushmore? Is that what it is? I modeled for the uh, Farmer's Almanac. Oh, yes, my goodness. Right. What a, Very good. All right. What a profile. Well, anyway, here we go. we got to talk about International Academy of Flint. Don't turn that dial. Hang with me, folks. We had some great guests about auditions for kids that are between the age of 12 and 25. What a great asset to the program. What a great asset for the neighborhood. Kevin, thank you for doing that. Kevin Scott. And then, of course, you just learned about um, the Brennan Center meeting on uh, November 18th, 6 in the evening for the South End primarily. I, anybody can come. It's wide open. But <laughs> families that live in that area probably would have more interest in being there. We'd love to have you. 
And of course, International Academy, the big event coming up, the big event coming up, the drums roll. That's it, not a drum, that's oh, a horn. I what never was, that? that's why I'm not in music. <laughs> I could never get those straight. But anyway, we've got Thanksgiving Day, 11 to 1, 11 to 1, Thanksgiving Day. No auditions. These are real turkeys. <laughs> and we're going to feed them to a bunch of people. Probably about 600. And the audience says, ooh. But it's really true, we do get that many. But we wouldn't get them there without the MTA, my friends, the MTA. And thank you, everybody, uh, on behalf of the MTA for passing that millage, because school kids need it, and seniors need it, and everybody who just doesn't have a regular automobile or a truck or something need it. So thank you, Flint, for passing that millage for them in Genesee County as well. Uh, but they are helping us on that dinner, giving us free buses for transporting to various locations designated by uh, us already to be picked up there, uh, primarily aimed at the homeless, but not necessarily only. We try to support uh, that group of folks as much as we can, certainly on Thanksgiving dinner. Some of the locations, we have a flyer with all that on there. We're going to Eastside Mission. We're going to Hispanic Center in, in Flintopia. We're going to St. Michael's Angels Warming Center, uh, also to Carriagetown Ministries, My Brother's Keeper, Kings Lane Apartments. Uh, Howard Estates, Regency Apartments, Redstone Apartments, Atherton East Apartments, Aldridge Place, River Park Apartments, Forest uh, Estate uh, off of Webster Road, Mince. folks who don't have transportation to make it there. We have a series of church vans that go out and help us. Uh, uh, it'll be um, first-class transportation as a private uh, runner, a private uh, con a bus company. They help us as well. St. Paul's Baptist Church, Word of Life uh, Church, uh, uh, Vermont Christian Church, and I may be missing one. I can't recall all from memory right now, but we have vans that are flying all over the city and the county bringing folks who might be a little short on that day to have a nice dinner. And on that day, we give away clothing. We have lots of clothing. It's gathering. My office looks like uh, um, a tart. Well, well, give me a clothing store. It always looks oh, like oh, that, oh, Art. Oh, oh, let me pull the dagger from my heart, okay? <laughs> but anyway, <laughs> in my distinguished office, <laughs> which has literally it's power saws in it, by the way, chainsaws. Now, right? <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> We just got a lot of clothing. We'll hang those out for folks to literally shop, those that need it. We get, we're giving away haircuts that day as well. Um, and then we'll have, we got real barbers coming in. And, uh, and I'm getting a phone call, so I'm going to throw this so, to somebody. Sometimes, sometimes you make my it phone. too easy. Okay. And uh, we're giving away uh, as well um, something else. What is it? I can't recall. But be there. Find out. That's the answer. Be there and find out. And, of course, we're always available to give tours to our school. We appreciate very much those families that might be interested in uh, maybe taking a look at another location. If that is the case, if you're somewhat dissatisfied, we welcome the chance to show you what we have. I love to personally give you a tour and tell you about all we do. And if that's the case, to Monday morning, you can go ahead and call. You can call today. I'm, I'm there seven days a week. But you can call 600 5261 600 5261. I'll call you back this weekend and we'll schedule a time where you can come in this weekend. Love to I give got, you a I tour. Got a question. Here's a question from Paul. I got a question. Um, last Saturday, we were yes, at sir. your place and you had a health fair. How, how was that successful? How did it go? I alluded to that earlier in the program, sir. Oh, I missed that part. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. So I, I guess it couldn't have been phenomenal. <laughs> well, I remember. Yeah, we. I think uh, there was probably 250 people there. I guess. I thought it was fabulous. We ran out of food. That's Did you? the first thing that happened because the uh, Genesee didn't. Um, they didn't order a semi like we're ordering for Thanksgiving dinner. Right, they right, have right. a semi. Have I got a call? You forgot to mention the food box. The food. Thank you, somebody. Goodness nice. sake. Somebody. Wow, we got two listeners. My mother <laughs> and that person. Okay. All right. <laughs> we're also. Thank you, somebody. We have food delivered from the food bank on Wednesday. We're at there a half a day of school. We unload the truck, bring it into the small gym, pack it, box it, and whatever else it. And then we uh, give that out on Thanksgiving Day to those to come to the Thanksgiving dinner. Please. Uh, you probably heard a little bit about this. It's going to be a big dinner. It always is. 
and uh, our kitchen, the queen of Thanksgiving, Miss Roseanne Jones, if she's listening, God nice, bless her, nice. this would not work without her. Oh, she's so priceless. And her and her family come in and literally take over. And we'll, I need turkeys, if anybody feels like donating. Uh, you can give a turkey to a turkey, <laughs> and that's me. But anyway, please do. We need donations of all sorts and kinds. I'd love to have it. Uh, if your heart feels like you'd like to do that, we would certainly welcome that. You know, well, it's anyway. always a good spread over there on Thanksgiving. Oh, I've mercy. I've been there the last yeah, couple of years. food galore. Yeah. It's, and it's good food. I yeah. mean, it's it's good. It clearly is. Yeah, it's a, it's a home-cooked meal at school. Yes. We have our yeah. own, this is not brought, you know, right. it's, it's yeah. done right there. Yeah. And Paul helped our account go up to, see, we had 540, Paul ate six, 60 right. times, and it brought it up to 600. It was I amazing. I certainly did, and I am <laughs> proud of it. Thank okay. you very much. Kristen, you going to come to our dinner? Okay. Maybe. I hope so. I'd love to have you there. You see some of the families that likely you will see at our uh, November 18th meeting. Well, anyway, I was expecting a call from somebody about uh, this uh, event. I'll mention it anyway. There's uh, an arts and crafts show. One of our, a couple of our neighborhood people are at it at the moment at the Dort Mall at uh, Dort and Atherton in the, there's a build, b big lots or something is there. I, I can't give you the name of the building it's in, but anyway, there's an arts small fair, arts and, well, small mall, the but small, Dort Mall, the small mall. mall. Yeah. yeah, so in one of the big buildings on the uh, north end of the mall is this huge arts and crafts fair, so if you're inclined and now it's the time to buy Christmas gifts, so everybody, so be creative and go and support them. We might be getting a call. No, this is uh, Candace's boyfriend, so that's the way that goes. Okay. Well, anyway, there we go. Well, how much time we got, Paul? You have approximately two and uh, two point two minutes. Two minutes. minutes. Okay. All right. Uh, remaining in uh, your talk time, unless your your close is about thirty seconds. So I take that back. About two minutes. Thank you, sir. We appreciate it. No worries. Kevin's got some. I actually have a call in. She said one minute. No, no. One minute. I don't have. Okay. All right, she says one minute. Paul, what's the matter here? I, I guess we read clocks differently. Okay. I got right, two minutes good. to twelve. Well, one minute. We're going to thank her. She's got to. She's got to make her station things. So okay, yeah. and if you want to call the school at any point, it's six hundred five thousand. How simpler? Six hundred five thousand. Please call, and we'd love to talk with you, meet with you, do whatever we want with you. That's that's great. We'd love to help you get a good education at International Academy of Flint. And with that in mind, we're going to thank what they're, they're fighting over seconds. <laughs> who's, who's, Candace is pointing at the they're clock, and he's what, pointing at his clock. clock. Right. No, yeah. okay. who's looking at? <laughs> what a place! What a place! It's love to have unity. Unity is a great thing. Okay, okay. Well, anyway, thank you, Kevin, for being here. You big goose. Glad to have you here. Haven't seen you here. for a while. Thanks for all you're doing for the arts area seconds. in Flint. And Kristen, we love you as well. Of course, I've loved you for how many months now? Fifteen seconds. Okay. About a year and a half or so. Okay, all right. And uh, Brian, always a pleasure knowing you since you were a little peewee. Ten seconds. Okay. Until we're getting down to nothing. Folks, wherever you are in Flint, Five. I'm not going to have any time Four. at all. Wherever you are, look Three. at, find somebody, look Three. them in the eye and say, woo-wee! That is some kind of school. Bye, everybody.